back to the Von Art Guitars channel. Uh, my name is Todd. This is uh, part two of the um, Mopar guitar build. And I'm actually, I'm glad to be back out in the shop. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of feeling a little bit more myself because I'm kind of more in my element. Um, and so this, uh, this video is gonna be more um, actual doing things and building something rather than just, just talking. And uh, it's, it's still a little bit cold here in Minnesota. It's, um, I don't know, it's probably 30 something degrees outside. And uh, so I got a little space heater going here. I hope, uh, I hope you can still hear me um, talking. And um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm stubborn. I, I said, screw it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait anymore for this, uh, this weather to, to get warmer. So unfortunately I have the big door, uh, the big garage door closed. And so I might get a little bit more sawdust in here than normal. Uh, but that's okay. Well, I'll, I'll deal with it. Um, and I probably should be, <laughs> I probably should have something, be wearing like a hoodie or something um, to, to keep my arms a little bit uh, warmer, but I don't, <clears throat> I don't like to run uh, power tools and whatnot with uh, loose, loose sleeves. You know, I can run, run the risk of getting, getting your arm caught in something and it's, you know, safety first always. <laughs> Um, I laugh because I'm not always the safest person. So when you're watching these videos, don't, don't, uh, don't take any safety tips from me. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, um, so what, uh, what I'm going to do today is, um, we're back to the, uh, <clears throat> we're back to the, 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 the Mopar guitar that's going to, uh, resemble a Gibson Firebird. I've got uh, I've got the uh, <clears throat> the body drawn on there. I got the pickup. It's only going to have one pickup, one humbucker. So I've got the the pickup location um, drawn in there. I've got my my um, my, my little starter holes for the <clears throat> for the um, for the bridge. It's going to have a um, <sighs> sorry about that. It's going to have a um, string through body, probably like a hip shock bridge instead of what you'd normally find on a, on a, uh, um, a Gibson Firebird uh, is typically going to be a, um, a tunematic bridge, but I, I think, I think, uh, I think a, a hip shot bridge um, would probably look a little bit better. So um, without further ado, first I'm going to go over to the bandsaw cut it out. I'm going to cut it out a little bit rough. I'm not going to, I'm not going to stay on the lines. I'll leave myself a little bit of room on the outside of the lines and then I'll take it over to uh, the router table and, uh, and, and put the, put the, uh, the, the, the template back on there and route according to the, the, the actual uh, shape of the, the, the template the guitar, the body template. Uh, that's actually pretty 
pretty smooth there. That's the body shape they're cut out. I, I had a little bit of trouble with my um, my router bits because as you can see here, <clears throat> see there's the there's the bearing. So that's what goes. Um, that's what that uh, matches up to the, uh, the the template, so that you can't go any further and cut into the template that that rides along the template there. But um, as you can see, the uh, the bit is a little bit shorter. Uh, it's not as it's not as tall or as deep as, as the as the actual body. Um, so I had a had a couple spots where it just it kind of flubbed up on me, kind of jumped a little bit right there. So I had a little, a little bit of a little excess wood there, but <clears throat> that can be, uh, that can be just sanded off. And, and that's what I'll do because I need to, uh, it's getting painted. <clears throat> this body will be, uh, will be painted. And so I'm going to have to sand it, sand it smooth and prep it for paint and then get, um, get some uh, uh, grain filler in there to get everything nice and smooth. So the next step in this process is just to um, route the, uh, I'm gonna route the, the neck pocket as well as the, uh, the pickup, the pickup, uh, the pickup cavity. And then um, on the back, I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't quite decided what, um, what size or style of um, control cavity that I want. So I, I haven't really picked that out as far as like the, the template to, um, to route that. I mean, the typical, <coughs> the typical Firebird control, control uh, cavity which is kind of like that size and it's in that spot. But for this one, I don't think I want that. I don't think I, I don't think I like that spot. Um, because I, I'm, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna try to throw the, uh, the volume knob somewhere up closer to where the pickup is, as opposed to back here. Um, <clears throat> and it's, so it's, it's gonna have one, just one single volume, no tone. And then I'm gonna have a, uh, a, a an LED kill switch. So I'm gonna have to put a, um, I'll probably have to put um, the control cavity somewhere up in here. Um, and I'm, I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna do a pick guard because if you remember from the first video where I talked about this build, um, this is gonna have like some cool graphics on it. So I don't want to, I don't want a pick guard there. So I, I can't really do that for the control the control cavity. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna have to figure out <clears throat> kind of exactly where I wanna put put a control cavity. I mean, I, I might, because there's not a lot of space here between where the pickup goes and the, the, this edge here, and if I want the volume, say, the volume pot or knob, say, like in this area, that doesn't give me a whole lot of room there. Um, I may just have to bite the bullet and um, and just have it be like a typical a typical firebird with the um, with the controls down in this in this area but I, I'm, I'm, I don't really want to do that I want to I want to kind of stay away from that um, so I'll figure something out but um, so yeah so the next uh, the next step is just to uh, to get the neck pocket I'll get the neck pocket um, routed get the pickup uh, all routed. So I'm gonna go over and do that right now.
pretty satisfied with uh, with what I've got so far. Um, I got pretty much as far as I wanted to get today um, on this one. Um, I got the neck pocket routed. I got the pickup uh, pickup cavity routed. Um, as I said before, I um, I haven't uh, I haven't routed the um, the uh, the control cavity yet, just because. Uh, I'm not really sure where where I want to put that and what size of a control cavity I want to I want to make. Um, I might have to make some sort of a, a template um, so that I can so I, I can get one in there on the on the back uh, so I can get one in there that's that's you know that makes sense um, for this and and I'm able to uh, put the uh, the volume the volume control up closer to the pickup as well as the uh, um, the kill switch um, but I can I can do that in the next episode um, yeah so I uh, the only I guess uh, the only the, the only steps that I have have uh, to go here now on the, on the body um, is to get that um, get that that uh, control cavity routed um, drill the holes for the uh, for the uh, for the pickup for the wiring drill the holes for the bridge um, for the um, through body um, and then and then I can um, and then I can get it prepped for paint I probably won't show a lot of that that um, process because it's a lot of it's a lot of hand sanding and that and that's <laughs> It's, it's boring for me, so I'm sure it would be boring for you guys, uh, so I won't, I won't do that. Um, and, then, um, uh, and, then, and then I'm gonna have to, I think simultaneously while I'm kind of doing uh, that kind of, that stuff, I'm gonna start planning out the, uh, the neck, um, get the, the, the wood picked out for the, for the neck and the fretboard, um, figure out what I wanna do for the, um, for the inlays on the on the fretboard and whatnot, so I got um, I got I still got quite a bit of work to do on this one, but for now I got the uh, I got the body cut out and and uh, and I'm 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 pretty pleased uh, with that with how that turned out so far. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to um, hit the like button and subscribe and ring the bell so you get uh, further notifications when uh, when I post more content. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.